Eve, my family and I want to do something fun this weekend. Do you have any suggestions? The weather is going to be nice. You should do something outdoors. Yeah, it's supposed to be sunny all weekend. How about a picnic at the park? We do that often. I want to do something more fun. How about the city zoo? I heard that bear cubs were recently born there. That's a good idea. We haven't been to the zoo in a long time. Then you should definitely go this weekend. The last time we were there, it started raining. None of the animals wanted to come out. That must have been boring. It was boring. The kids wanted to go home early. The animals should be more visible since the weather is going to be sunny this weekend. Yeah, I think we will go to the zoo. Hopefully this time it'll be more fun. Actually, I have four tickets to the zoo. You can have them. Our family won't be able to go. The tickets expire this weekend. Thanks, Steve. Let me pay you for them. Zoo tickets are expensive. Don't worry about it. It's my gift to you since your last visit was not fun. Are you sure? This is very generous of you. Also, you mowed my lawn a few times after I had back surgery last year. I really appreciated that. I'm glad we're neighbors. Carl, are you going to watch television all day? No. Is there something you want to do? It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. We should do something outdoors. Okay. What should we do? Let's go to the beach. Okay. I'll grab the beach chairs and towels. Great. I'll pack some snacks and drinks. Don't forget the sunscreen. Where is it? It's in the bathroom cabinet. Is there anything else we need to bring? I'll bring the camera. I want to take pictures of the sunset. Good idea. The sunset is beautiful at the beach. Do you remember the last time we went to the beach? No. It's been a long time. Why don't we go more often? Because you're always watching TV. Okay. Let's go to the beach when the weather is nice and watch TV when it rains. That's a deal. Hi, Sheila. Have you been to the new amusement park yet? No. When did it open? Last weekend. Was it crowded? It was very crowded. Parking is terrible, too. Did you have fun? Oh, yes. The roller coasters are really fun. My kids had a great time. It was even fun for the adults, too. I didn't know it was open yet. I will have to take my son soon. You should. They will love it. Are the tickets expensive? Yeah, they're pretty expensive, but your family will enjoy it. Maybe we'll go this weekend. We don't have any plans on Saturday. My son has been asking about it. If you go on Saturday, try to go early. There aren't enough parking spots. They need to add more. Okay, that's good to know. Do you have any other tips? The lines for the rides are very long, so be patient. Okay, I assumed that. Now I have to convince my husband to go. He doesn't like amusement parks? No, I have motion sickness, so I can't ride any of the roller coasters. That means my husband has to ride all of them with our son. Tell him to be prepared. There are a lot of roller coasters. Mom, can we have a picnic this afternoon? Sure, Kathy. Where should we have it? How about the lake? That's a great idea. What should we pack for lunch? I can make ham sandwiches and potato salad. Yummy! I love ham sandwiches and potato salad. Tell your sisters about the picnic. Okay. I think it is going to get hot later today. That's good. It will be a good day for a swim in the lake. I'll tell Cindy and Allison to wear their swimsuits. Don't forget to pack your life jackets, too. Okay. Will Andy be joining us? Of course your brother will be joining us. Where is he? He's taking a nap on the couch. Let's wake him up. You can wake him up. I'll get my sisters. Andy, wake up. We're going to the lake. Hi, Mike. What are you doing today? Hi, Joe. My family and I are going to the lake. We're going to have a picnic. That sounds like fun. Do you want to join us? May I? I would love to join. Sure. We are leaving at 10.30. Okay. Let me ask my parents. What should I bring? You should pack swim trunks and a life jacket. Okay. How about food? My parents are going to pack some food. There will be plenty for you, too. Thanks. 
I'll be back as soon as possible. Try to come back before 10.30. I will. If I can't go, I will call you. I hope you can come with us. Me too. I have no plans today. See you soon. I hope so. Dad, what are we doing today? Kathy, it's a surprise. Is it a special occasion? No, just a short family trip. Does Mom know? Of course. It was her idea. Where is Mom? She's at the store getting things for our trip. I'm so curious. Can you please tell me? No, you have to be patient. Okay. Can I help you with anything? Sure. Why don't you pack your swimsuit and life jacket? I know what we're doing. You do? Yes, we're going to the lake. How did you know? You asked me to pack a swimsuit and a life jacket. Also, you're pulling out the canoe from the garage. It looks like I can't keep a secret. Dad, what are we doing this weekend? I have a surprise for you, Timothy. What is it? Here, open it. I think I know what it is. Can you tell by the shape? Yeah. Is it a fishing pole? Well, open it up and find out. It is. I love it. I've never gone fishing before. Your grandfather and I used to go fishing when I was a child. Now I can take you. I can't wait. You also need a life jacket. Why? You should always wear a life jacket if you're going in a boat. Okay, Dad. Now, let's go to the fishing store and buy some bait. What's bait? Things that will attract the fish to the hook. Like worms? Exactly. This is going to be so much fun. Hey, Phil. I'm so glad it's Friday. I agree, James. It was a stressful work week. Have any plans this weekend? Yeah. I'm going fishing with my buddies. Lucky. Do you want to join us? I can't. I'm helping my brother move. He recently bought a house. That's too bad. We're going to have beautiful weather, too. I'm glad we're going to have good weather. I don't want to move boxes and furniture in the rain. That's true. When are you going to be done? I don't know. He has a lot of stuff. It could be all day. Well, if you get done early, why don't you meet us at the lake? Are you going out on a boat? No. We're going to fish on the lakeshore. None of us have a boat. My brother has a boat. I can ask him if we can borrow it sometime. That would be awesome. Thanks. Well, I'm going to head home now. I'm tired. Yeah, me too. Call me this weekend if you get done early. Hey, John. Did you see the fish Sam just caught? No. What did he catch? How big was it? A 20-pound salmon. Wow. I've been here all day and have caught nothing. Have you caught anything? Yeah. Just a couple of small trout. That's better than me. I just want to give up and go home. Don't give up. You might catch something soon. My wife told me to bring home dinner. Fish? Yeah, I may have to go to the market and buy one. That's silly. Just wait. The sun is starting to set and I'm tired of being out here. At least it didn't rain today. We had clear skies all day. That's true. It was nice today. Hey, can you hold my fishing pole? I need to go to the restroom. Sure. Wait, John. Steve, what? Something is pulling on your fishing pole. Here, grab it. Wow, that's a huge salmon. I told you to be patient and you would catch something. Now I can take home dinner. Want to come over and have salmon with us? Hey, Joe, what happened to your ankle? Hey, Kevin. I broke it while hiking last weekend. That's terrible. How? We were hiking down a steep trail. I lost my balance and fell. Ouch. Yeah, it hurt badly. How did you get back to your car? It was a long, painful walk. Were you alone? No, I was with my wife, but I'm too heavy for her to carry me. Why didn't you call someone? There was no cell phone coverage in that area. How long do you have to wear your cast? Six weeks. Six weeks? Are you going to miss the marathon next month? Yeah, looks like I am. I'm so disappointed. I've been training for that for a year. Why don't you go in my place? No, thanks. You know what I hate more than hiking? What? Marathons. Hey, Sue. What are you doing this weekend? Hi, Sandy. 
I'm going hiking with some friends. Do you want to join? No, that's okay. I've never gone hiking before. Really? It's a lot of fun and great exercise. It sounds fun and good for you. It is. You should come. I don't even have the correct shoes. I have an extra pair. What size do you wear? I wear a size 7. What a coincidence. Me too. What else do I need? Comfortable clothes, a jacket, a water bottle, snacks, a flashlight, and a map. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to bring. Do you have a small backpack to put these items in? Yeah. Well then, you're ready to go. How long are you going to be hiking? We usually hike about ten miles, but this weekend we're going to hike a much shorter distance. Why? My friend is bringing her sister. She has never gone hiking before either, so it'll be a fun experience for the both of you. Hello? Mike, this is Dan. Do you have a lantern I can borrow? I think so. I have to check. Our lantern is broken. What do you need a lantern for? We are going camping this weekend. We went camping last month. How was the weather last month? It was great. Sunny all weekend. I think it's going to rain this weekend. That's not good. Why are you going camping if it's going to rain? The kids still want to go. I'm sure you will still have fun. I hope so. We're going to pack some extra clothes. Let me check on that lantern. Mike. What's wrong, Dan? Do you have a tent I can borrow? Sure. Why? I just discovered a hole in our tent. Susan, what should we do this weekend? I don't know. What would you like to do? Should we take the kids camping? That sounds like a fun plan. Do you know what the weather forecast is for this weekend? No, I have to check. I think it's supposed to be sunny and clear. That's perfect weather for camping. We can go fishing, too. The kids are going to love it. Let's not tell them yet. Why? I need to make a reservation. There may not be space available. Oh, yeah. We better think of another option just in case. Yeah? How about going to the beach? That would be fun, too. Let me try to make a reservation for camping first. Okay. Here's the number. Billy, are you all packed? No, Dad. I can't find my fishing pole. Where did you see it last? In the garage. I'll look again. Okay. I'm almost done packing, too. I just need to load the tents into the car. I found my fishing pole. It was behind the skis. Good. What is your mom doing? She is packing food and snacks into the ice chest. Hopefully we will catch some fish to eat, too. Yeah. Dad, where is your fishing pole? I forgot it. Thanks for reminding me. Are we going to the same campsite? No. I want to try a new place. Cool. Can I bring my camera? Of course, but be careful not to lose it. I'll be careful. I want to take a lot of pictures. Make sure to take pictures of our fish. I hope we catch big ones. I love camping and fishing. I love spending time as a family. Hi, Carol. Have you seen any airline deals lately? Hi, Ruth. No, I haven't. Are you planning a trip? Yeah. Stan and I want to visit our daughter in London. She moved there last year. Why? Her job was transferred there. Does she like living there? She loves living in England. She wants us to visit, but the airfare is very expensive. Have you called any travel agencies? Sometimes they have special deals. I've called travel agencies and looked online, but everything is expensive. Yeah, airfare is getting more and more expensive every year. I know. You travel a lot. Where do you buy your airline tickets? My traveling is for work. My company pays for the tickets. That's nice. Yeah. One of my business trips was to Hawaii. I got to fly in first class. That's amazing. We rarely travel by plane. I'd rather take the train. Well, you can't take the train across the ocean. I wish we could. Hi, Jane. Isn't it a beautiful day? Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it's sunny and clear. I think we're going to take our boat out. It's a great day for it. Would you and Paul like to join us? I would love to. I need to ask Paul. He's at the store. He should be home in a few minutes. Great. We can pack a lunch and eat on the boat. Sounds like fun. I've never been on a boat before. You haven't? 
Do you get seasick? I've never been on a boat, so I wouldn't know. Do you get airsick? Do you have any kind of motion sickness? I don't think so. I don't get sick on planes or trains or long car rides. That's good. Then you'll probably be okay on the boat. Are you really worried about me being seasick? Yes, and there is a reason why. What is it? Tom and I took my friend out on our boat once and she got very sick. I felt terrible for her. Oh, I see. I should be okay. What about Paul? He used to be a fisherman. He is definitely not going to be seasick. What are you doing this weekend? We're going to take the train to my mother's house. That should be fun. Yeah, we usually drive, but we decided to take the train this time. Why? My son loves trains, so I thought it would be a good idea to take the train up there. Does he have a train set? Oh, yes. He has several trains, and Jason built him a big wooden train track. Then he's going to love this ride. I know. We haven't told him yet. It's going to be a surprise. I remember riding the train as a child. It was a lot of fun. One of his toy trains looks just like the train we're going to take. Make sure to take a picture of it. That's a great idea. I'll frame it and hang it on his bedroom wall. Have a great train ride. Mary, I am so angry. What happened, Susan? Our hotel lost our reservations. How did that happen? I don't know. They didn't have a reasonable explanation. Well, can't you just make another reservation? No. They said there are no more rooms available. Oh, no. That's terrible. We are attending my niece's wedding this weekend, and everyone is staying at that hotel. What about another hotel in that area? There's going to be a big doctor's conference this weekend. There are no rooms available at any of the nearby hotels. Did the hotel apologize? Yes, and they offered us a discount on our next visit. Did you accept it? No. I was so mad. I told them that I would never stay at a place that lost our original reservations. What did they say? They just kept apologizing. What are you going to do? I don't know. My niece is very upset. Our daughter is the photographer. Hi, Alice. How did you like the hotel? It was lovely, Barbara. The rooms were spacious and clean. Did you get a good deal on it? Yeah. They had an online special. If you reserved a room three weeks early, you got 20% off the regular room rate. That's a good deal. The swimming pool and spa were really nice, too. The swimming pool was warm. There was also a sauna. Oh, that's very nice. Joe loves saunas. I need to tell him about this place. The parking is free, and so is the Wi-Fi. That's good to know. There's a shuttle bus that takes you to the downtown area where all of the shops and restaurants are. It was very convenient. Anything else? The concierge was very helpful, and the front desk clerks were very nice. Sounds like it was a wonderful place to stay. It was. I would recommend this place to everyone. Is there a restaurant in the hotel? Yes. They have great food. It's a little expensive, but very delicious. They have a fantastic breakfast buffet every morning, too. Wow. I'm definitely going to make a reservation here. I can't wait to go back. How was the hotel? It was awful. We had to switch rooms a couple of times. Why? Well, we found bugs in the carpet in one room. We had already unpacked, so we had to repack everything and ask for another room. What was wrong with the second room? We paid for a garden room, and it was a view of the parking lot. That's terrible. Did you finally get a good room? They were out of garden view rooms. So they upgraded us to an ocean view room. That's nice. So why was it so awful? Our next door neighbor snored so loudly, he kept us awake every night. Did you ask for another room? Yes, but they said that there were no more rooms available.
I'm sorry you had a terrible time. That's okay. The manager was really nice about it. He offered us a free stay next time. Are you going to go back there? Of course. It Lucy, can you help me with breakfast? Sure, Mom. Is someone coming over this morning? Your grandparents are coming. Oh, how nice. What are we making? Pancakes, eggs, bacon, and hash browns. Yummy. That sounds delicious. I hope so. Your grandfather has a big appetite. I hope there's enough food. Mom, you always make too much food. It looks like a breakfast buffet every time they come over. I want to make sure there is enough food. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Should I make freshly squeezed orange juice? That would be great. Do you know where the juicer is? Yeah, it's on the top shelf of the pantry. Oh, no. What's wrong, Mom? I'm all out of eggs. Tell your dad to go to the store and buy some eggs. I'll start on the bacon and hash browns. Dad, Mom needs you to buy some eggs. Hey, Kevin, do you want to try the new diner down the street? Sure. I hear they have really good food, especially their omelets. Susan went there last weekend and said it was the best breakfast place in town. Yeah, I heard the same thing from Janet. She waited an hour for a table. I don't think I can wait an hour. I'm hungry right now. Do you want to make breakfast at home? Okay. What do you want to eat? I'd like a ham and cheese omelet. That sounds good. Do we have all the ingredients? Well, we only need eggs, ham, and cheese. I think we may be out of ham. I used the last few slices for a sandwich yesterday. Okay. How about a vegetable omelet? That's good, too. We have green peppers, mushrooms, and onions. That's perfect. Great. I'll brew some coffee, and you make the omelet. I don't know how to make an omelet. You don't? Well, I don't either. Let's just go to the new diner. That sounds like a better plan. Hi, Sally. My kids want to go out for breakfast this weekend. Do you have a favorite restaurant? Hi, Mary. Yeah, our favorite place is the Pancake House on Main Street. Oh, I haven't been there yet. We love it. Kids eat free on their birthdays, too. What do your kids like there? They love the chocolate chip pancakes. Oh, my children would love those. They like anything with chocolate. I like their waffles. They're thick and fluffy. They put fresh strawberries over them. I may want to try that. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> Me too. Would you like to join us on Saturday morning? I can't on Saturday. Joan has a soccer game in the morning. What about Sunday? We have church in the morning, but we're free around 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is good for us, too. Okay. Let's meet on Sunday at 10 a.m. at the restaurant. That sounds wonderful. Hey, Sue. What are you doing today? Hey, Alice. I'm going to the market later. My husband's boss and his wife are coming over for dinner tonight. Wow. What are you making? I don't know. His wife is a vegetarian, so I need to make one dish without meat. My mother-in-law is a vegetarian. I can ask her for some recipes. That would be great. I'm a little nervous about hosting dinner. You shouldn't worry. You're a great cook. I've never cooked for Jeff's boss before. I want to make sure everything is perfect. I understand. I cooked for my boss once. It was a disaster. I burned the roast beef. Oh, no. What happened? I was too busy talking and forgot to take it out of the oven. We all laughed, but I was so embarrassed. I'll make sure to use a timer. Great idea. I think I will make lasagna. Your lasagna is delicious. My mother-in-law makes great vegetarian lasagna. I'll call her right now. Thank you so much. I'll go to the market after you talk to her. Good luck tonight. Ethan, get ready. We're going to your grandparents' house for dinner? Again? We went there last weekend. That's right. Remember, we go every Sunday evening. But Grandma's food tastes weird. Don't be rude. She loves to cook for us. I know. I love them. But she always makes the same dish, chicken pot pie. Your grandfather likes it. It's his favorite. So we're going to eat it, too. Okay, Mom. Sorry for being rude. 
Why don't we pick up a dessert on the way to their house? Okay. Can we get ice cream? Sure. We can make ice cream sundaes after dinner. Mom, that's funny. What's funny? Sundays on Sundays. That is funny. This will be our new tradition. Grandpa will love it. He loves ice cream, too. Hey, Jane, did you eat lunch? No, I don't have time. I have a big test today at 1 p.m. You still need to eat or you won't have energy for the test. I know. I'll grab something on the way to class. Fast food? Yeah, I'll grab a burger. That's not healthy for you. Let me make you something to eat. Thanks, but I don't have time. You never have the time to eat a proper meal anymore. I like fast food meals anyway. They're quick and easy. Let me pack you some fruits. Mom, please. I'm in college now. I can cut my own fruits. But you won't do it. I'll take this banana. It's quick and easy. See you later, Mom. Eat something nutritious. Hey, Jesse. Should we grab a bite to eat before the concert? Yeah, I'm getting a little hungry. Let's get some fast food here. Burgers and fries? Yeah, that sounds good. Why is the drive through line so long? It's dinner time. Should we go inside? It might be busier inside. Looks like the line is really long inside, too. Let's head to another place. Can we go to one closer to the concert arena? That's a good idea. There are many fast food places around there. Yeah, we should be able to find one that's not too crowded. Fast food is great. Fast and cheap. But not very healthy. Hey, Sam. What was your first job? I worked at a fast food restaurant. Did you like it? It was okay. It was always busy. What did you do there? I took orders at the counter and sometimes at the drive through window. Was it fun? It wasn't fun. It was just a job. We had to work fast. I need to find a job. I was thinking about applying at a fast food restaurant. It's a good place to learn how to work quickly. I'm a fast learner, and I can move pretty quickly. Also, it's a good place to learn how to handle customers. I don't have any customer service experience. They will train you. You just have to be polite and listen well. I can do that. You should apply then. Did you get to eat a lot of the food? I ate too much fast food working there. I got sick of it. I love fast food. I may eat it every day. That's probably not a good thing. Hello? Hi, Joan. This is Karen. Are you free for lunch today? Hi, Karen. No, I'm having lunch with my mom. It's her birthday today. What about tomorrow? I'm free tomorrow. Where should we go? There's a new Chinese restaurant downtown. I love Chinese food. Let's check it out. Do you think we should make reservations? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Should we invite anyone else? Sure. How about Kathy and Lisa? Lisa is out of town. Let's invite Kathy and Sharon. Okay. What time should we meet tomorrow? Noon. Noon is perfect. Good. I'll call Kathy and Sharon right now. Hopefully they can meet at noon, too. If they can't, I'll let you know. Hey, Steve. What did your mom pack for your lunch today? Hey, Bobby. She packs me the same lunch every day. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich, cookies, and milk. I got something new today. It looks like a tuna sandwich. I'm not sure I like it. I love tuna sandwiches. Do you want to trade? Sure. But will your mom get mad? No. She won't know. I won't tell her. Do you ever buy the school lunch? No. It looks gross. It's actually not bad. Some dishes are pretty good. Which ones have you tried? The spaghetti and pizza are good. But the hamburgers and burritos are terrible. They taste like cardboard. That's awful. Maybe I'll buy lunch when the cafeteria serves spaghetti and pizza. Those are my favorite dishes at home. They're pretty good, but not as good as our mom's cooking. Are you done with lunch? Let's go out to recess. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Bill. Are you hungry? Oh, hi, Kathy. Yeah, let's have lunch. What do you want to eat? How about pizza? We always have pizza. Let's try something different. Okay. Do you have any suggestions? How about sushi? I don't like raw fish. 
all sushi isn't raw. I know, I just don't feel like having sushi today. Okay, then what should we eat? Maybe we should just order takeout. You get sushi, and I'll get pizza. That's a good idea. But I think I want Chinese food instead. Chinese food sounds yummy. Hey, we agree on something. Let's go out to a Chinese restaurant. I'd rather eat at home. We never agree on anything. Do you want to try a new restaurant tonight? Sure. I'm kind of getting sick of the same place. Me too. What kind of food do you want to eat? Do you want to try Indian? Okay. I've never had Indian food before, so you'll have to choose the place. I've never had it before either. Then why do you want to go there? To try something different. Let's check out the reviews online. That's a good idea. There are many restaurants we haven't tried. Should we try a new one each week? Yeah, that will be fun. Okay, so we'll have Indian tonight. What about next week? Let's decide that next week, one place at a time. I'm hungry. Me too. Let's find a restaurant soon. Hi, Bill. What are you doing tonight? I'm not sure. Carol and I are thinking about going out to dinner. I'm opening a restaurant soon. Where? Downtown. What kind of food are you going to serve? Chinese cuisine. That's great. Carol and I love Chinese food. It's been my dream to open a restaurant in America. What made you finally do it? I finally saved up enough money to open my own restaurant. When will it be open? I don't know yet. It's a very old building, and I need to make some repairs first. Do you have experience running a restaurant? Yes. I owned a restaurant in China many years ago. Wow. I didn't know that. Would you and Carol like to come over and try some of my dishes tonight? I want to create a menu of my best dishes. We would love to. We were thinking about going to a Chinese restaurant tonight. Perfect. You can tell me what you think of my food. We went to the best restaurant in town. How was the food? The food was delicious. It was the best seafood I ever had. How was the service? The service was excellent. The waiter was attentive and very polite. We should go back together. Definitely. I will take you next time. I wish I could have joined you tonight. Me too. Are you feeling any better? A little, but I still feel sick. Are you hungry? Yes. The clam chowder was delicious, so I brought you some. Thank you. I love clam chowder. I hope you feel better soon so I can take you there. Me too. I love good sea. Jane, how was school today? Mom, it was fun. I made a new friend. That's nice. What's her name? Her name is Cindy. Is she new to your school? Yeah, she's a new student. She moved here from Seattle, Washington. You have an aunt who lives in Seattle. I know. I like Seattle. It's beautiful there, but it rains too much. Yeah, that's why we're staying in sunny California. Cindy and I have a lot in common. We both like drawing, playing with dogs, and eating pizza. You should invite her over for dinner one night. Can we, Mom? Sure. We can order pizza. Maybe I'll ask her if she can come over on Friday. Okay. Let's invite her parents, too. We can get to know them. That's a good idea. They don't have any friends here yet. Hi. Are you new to the apartment building? Yes. My name is Monica. Nice to meet you, Monica. My name is Paul. I live on the third floor, apartment number 305. I live on the fourth floor in 405. Hey, you live right above me. That's funny. I hope I'm not too noisy. I've been moving furniture around. That's okay. It doesn't bother me. Have you met any of the other neighbors? I've met a few people. Everyone seems friendly here. Yeah. Every month we have a party on the rooftop. It's a potluck, so you can bring a dish to share. That sounds fun. I love parties and potlucks. Our next one is on Saturday at 5 p.m. You should come. I'm bringing my famous pasta salad. Sounds delicious. I'll make a chocolate cake. I love chocolate cake. I can't wait to try it. Thanks for letting me know about the party. There should be an invitation in your mailbox. Everyone gets one. I better check the mailbox then. I still have so much unpacking to do.
Do you need help moving any more furniture? No, my brother helped me last night. I'm done with the big items. I just need to unpack pots and pans and dishes now. Okay, let me know if you need help. See you at the party. Hi, Billy. How was your first day at a new school? It was okay, Mom. Did you make any new friends? Yeah, a boy in my class. Is he nice? What's his name? He's cool. His name is Brian. He plays soccer. You love soccer. You were on the soccer team at your old school. Yeah, I miss my old team with Ted, Mark, and Richard. I know you do. Do you want to invite Brian over to play one day? Sure. He rides the school bus on our street. Do you want to start riding the school bus too? Yeah. Then I can meet more of the neighborhood kids. Okay. Let's plan for you to ride the bus tomorrow morning. Brian said the bus comes at 7.45. Then you need to wake up at 7 o'clock. I know. I'll set my alarm. Hey, Joe, have you seen Sandy? No, Bill. Why? We had a misunderstanding, and she is not talking to me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I said something silly and hurt her feelings. What did you say? It's not important. I don't want to discuss it. I just want to apologize to her. She always hangs out at Linda's house or the library. I've already checked both places. How about her house? Her roommate said she wasn't home. Have you called her cell phone? Yeah, several times. She must really be mad at you. She was. She stormed off and I didn't get to explain what I meant. I'm really curious now. What did you say to her? I told her to exercise. Well, that probably wasn't a smart thing to say to a woman. I meant that she should exercise to stay healthy. That sounds better. Hope you find her. Hi, Sally. What are you doing here? Hey, Susie. I need to buy my sister a new necklace. I accidentally lost her necklace, and she is really mad at me now. But you said it was an accident. Yeah, but I didn't ask if I could borrow it. Oh, that's not good. She wasn't home, and it looked nice with my outfit, so I wore it. That's like stealing. I know. I feel terrible. I was going to put it back when I got home. How did you lose it? I don't know. I was on my way home, and I noticed it was gone. Was it an expensive necklace? I don't know. I'm looking for a replacement here. What does it look like? It's a gold butterfly. Like this one? That's it. That's exactly like hers. How much is it? The price tag says $100. Wow, that's expensive. Now I see why she was really mad. Are you going to buy it? Yeah. That's all the money I have until my next paycheck. Hey, Nancy. Why do you look so worried? Oh, hi, Betty. Christine and I had a big argument, and she has decided to move out. What did you argue about? I told her that she needs to help clean up around the apartment. What happened after you told her that? She got upset and said she's moving out. But it's the truth. She never helps around the house. Yeah, that could be a problem. I had to say something since we're roommates, and I'm tired of cleaning her mess. I totally understand. I like things neat and organized, too. But the bigger problem is that she never pays her rent on time. She is late every month. What are you going to do? I need to find a roommate soon. I can't afford the rent by myself. Do you know anyone looking for a roommate? Yes, I do. Who? Me. That would be awesome. Hello? Hi, John. This is Stephen. What are you doing tonight? Hey, Stephen. Nothing much. I don't have any plans yet. Do you want to hang out? Sure. What did you have in mind? I don't know. It's Friday, and I'm bored. Want to go to the movies? Is there a good movie to see? Let's check the internet. Okay. Let me log on to my computer. Do you want to see a comedy or a drama? Nothing sad or depressing. I had a hard work week. I want to see something funny. I agree. Work was stressful for me, too. There aren't any new comedies right now. I only see dramas and horror movies. Yeah, that's all I see, too. Hey, 
Let's go to the comedy club. My favorite comedian is performing tonight at the local theater. That sounds great. What time? It starts at 7 p.m. Let's do dinner, too. Good idea. I'll meet you at your house at 5 p.m. See you tonight. Hey, Carol. Are you done with your final exams? Yes, Jane. I had my last one this morning. How about you? Yeah, I got done an hour ago. Do you want to celebrate? Sure. What should we do? I don't know. We should throw a party. What if our friends are not done with exams? Yeah, you're right. Do you want to go dancing? I don't know how to dance. You don't? It's easy. Just move your body to the music. I look silly when I dance. Me too. I don't care. Let's do something else. Okay. Do you have any ideas? Do you want to go see a play? That sounds boring. I want to do something active. I think we have different ideas of fun. Yeah. How about shopping? Do you want to go to the mall? I love shopping. Let's do that. We can eat dinner there, too. Great. Let's meet at the department store at 4 p.m. Hello? Hi, Linda. This is Stacy. Are you free tomorrow night? No, I'm not. Why? I'm inviting a couple of friends to sleep over. I wish I could go, but I have to babysit my younger sister. That's too bad. We were going to rent a movie and order pizza. Now I really wish I could go. That sounds like so much fun. Can your parents find another babysitter? No. Our regular babysitter got sick, so they asked me. I see. What time will your parents be back? 9 o'clock p.m. Do you want to come over after you finish babysitting? Will you still be awake? Of course. It's a sleepover party. We're all going to sleep late. Okay. Please save me some pizza. I will. See you tomorrow night. Hello? Hi, Karen. This is Janet. Did you hear that Joanne is moving to England? Yeah, what a great opportunity for her. I'm thinking about throwing her a going-away party. What do you think? I think that's a wonderful idea. She is such a good co-worker. Would you like to help me plan it? Sure. Let's make it a potluck so everyone can bring a dish to share. That's a great idea. Less stress if I don't have to cook. Right. How many people do you want to invite? How about all of the people she works with? How many is that? I think there are about 30 people in our department, including us. Should we keep it a secret or let her know? She doesn't like people making a big fuss over her, so let's keep it a secret. When should we have the party? When is she moving? Next month, I think. Then we should do it soon. She'll be busy packing and getting ready for the move. How about next Friday? It's her last day at work, too. Perfect. I'll send out an email to everyone tonight. Thanks for your help. Sally, what's wrong? Why do you look so sad? Mom, Candace is moving away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why is she moving? Her dad got a job in another state. Where is she moving? To California. That's across the country. There are many ways you can still keep in touch. You can email, text, and call each other on the phone. But it won't be the same as seeing each other every day. She's my best friend. I'm going to miss her. I know you will. When are they moving? At the end of June when the school year ends, in two months. Would you like to invite her over this weekend? You can have a sleepover. Yes, please. That would be great. We're going to try and hang out as much as possible before she moves. That sounds like a good plan. Can we visit her in California? It's pretty far from us. We don't know anyone there. Yes, we do. Candace and her family. Hey, Jeff. Are you okay? Hi, Dad. Yeah, I'm just a little sad that we are selling my childhood home. I know. I'm sad, too. But it's just too big for your mother and me. I understand. I just have a lot of memories here. Me too. This is the first home your mother and I bought. Do you remember all of our holiday parties here? Everyone came to our house. Of course I remember them. Those were the best times. Now I'm married and have a family of my own. I wish we didn't have to sell it, but we can no longer take care of it. We're getting old, and it's too much work. Do you know who bought our house? A young couple with two kids. They seem like a loving family. Where will you and Mom go? 
we found a beautiful, small condo a few blocks away. That's nice. Will there be enough room when the grandchildren visit? Yes. We have an extra room for guests, so your kids can stay over any time. Where's Mom? She's at the fabric store. She wants to sew new curtains for the condo. Hi, Carol. You look tired today. I am tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. Why? Our neighbor's dog would not stop barking. He barked all night long. That's awful. Did you complain to your neighbor? I knocked on his door, but he didn't answer. I don't think he was home. What did you do all night? I couldn't sleep, so I tried to read a book. But the dog's barking kept distracting me, so I just watched TV. I would be so angry. You should have called the police. I didn't want to bother the police with a barking dog. I would have called them. What if there was an emergency at your neighbor's house and the dog was trying to alert someone? That's true. I didn't think about that. But this dog usually barks because he's bored. That's annoying. I know. Hey, Carol, is that your neighbor? He's walking towards us. What is he holding? It looks like a plate of cookies. Hi, Helen. What's wrong? I couldn't sleep until three o'clock in the morning. Why? What happened? Our neighbor's children threw a big party last night. The music was so loud. Wow. Where were their parents? They are on vacation. They left the kids home. How old are the kids? They're teenagers. They're old enough to be home alone. Did you complain to them? Yes. I went over there three times. I told them that their music was too loud and we were trying to sleep. What did they do? Nothing. They wouldn't turn the music down. That is so rude. Why didn't you call the police? I finally did. The police found some of the teens drinking alcohol. I bet that ended the party. Yeah. Now my neighbors are heading back home from their vacation. Do they know what happened? Yes. They are not happy. Those kids are in big trouble. I feel so bad for Mary. Me too. I can't believe her husband died. They were married for a long time. I know. What is she going to do now? I don't know. Does she have any children? No, I don't think they had any children. How about other family members? I think she had one sister, but she passed away several years ago. So she's all alone now? Yeah. Isn't that sad? Yes, it is very sad. She is always so nice to everyone. I think we should all get together and do something nice for her. I like that idea. What should we do? Let's take turns helping her around the house. Great idea. We can take care of her yard, help clean her house, and bring her meals. I love this. Let's talk to the other neighbors soon. Has bus 47 come yet? No, I think it's late today. Do you ride this bus every day? Yeah. Do you? Not every day. Only a couple of times a week. Well, I think the bus is late today because of the rain. Oh. Does the weather make a difference? Yes, the bus is usually several minutes late when it rains. Because of bad traffic? Yeah, and probably because of car accidents. That makes sense. I must have picked the wrong day to ride the bus. Actually, I think riding the bus on rainy days is better. Why? Then you don't have to drive in bad traffic. Someone is driving for you. You are totally right. I'm going to check the weather from now on. I'm going to take the bus when it rains. Then I'll see you here at the bus stop. Great. It was nice talking with you. Yes, it was. I think our bus is coming now. I like your sports jersey. Thanks. You must be a fan, too. I am. I went to that college. Really? Me, too. What year did you graduate? 2000. I graduated in 2004. What was your major? I studied law. I studied law, too. I'm Matthew, by the way. I'm Karen. Nice to meet you, Matthew.
Are you going to the game tonight? No, I'm going to watch it at home. I have an extra ticket. Would you like to go to the game with me? I'd love to. We can watch our college football team win tonight. Okay. What about dinner first? Sounds great. I'll meet you at this coffee shop at 5 p.m. Okay. See you tonight, Matthew. Can we share this cab? Where are you going? To Fifth Avenue and Main Street. That's where I'm going, too. Great. It's so hard to catch a cab at this time. I know. Are you going to work? No, I'm meeting some friends at a restaurant. Is it the new Thai place? Yes. Have you been there? Yeah. How is it? It's pretty good. Oh, good. It's my first time trying Thai food. Really? Everything is freshly made. That's good to hear. I'm a little picky about food. I hope you like it. Thanks. Where are you going? Work. Where do you work? I'm a chef at the new Thai restaurant. That's awesome. Let the chef know what you think later. If you liked it, you may get a free dessert. You're funny. Mom, are we having a big party tonight? Yes, Robert. All of our relatives are coming. Did you forget? Oh, yeah. It's our annual family reunion. How could you forget? We have a big party every year. This year, it is at our house. I remember it was at Uncle Walter's house last year. That was fun. Do you need any help? Yes. Could you please go to the store and buy some ice? I made some lemonade and I want to keep it cool during the party. That's a good idea. It's going to be hot today. I hope the food stays fresh. I'm sure it will be fine. What are you making? It's going to be a potluck. I am serving barbecue ribs and potatoes. Do you know what other people are bringing? I think some people are going to bring salads, appetizers, and desserts. Sounds like a feast. I think everyone is coming except Aunt Linda. She's feeling sick today. That's too bad. She is my favorite aunt. I know. She's my favorite sister. I can't wait to see all of my cousins. They're excited to see you, too. But right now, please go buy some ice. Mom, do I have to go to the family reunion? Yes, Sam. Why don't you want to go? It's boring, and I have no one to talk to. You have a lot of cousins. I know, but they are all younger than me. So you could entertain them. Okay. Your grandparents will be very disappointed if you do not attend. Okay, where is it going to be? It's going to be at an Italian restaurant. Italian food is your favorite. I know. How long is it going to be? Probably a few hours. Can I leave early? If you can find a ride home, you can leave early. I wish I knew how to drive. You will learn someday, but tonight you are going to the reunion. Hello? Hi, Jane. This is Susan. Hi, Susan. How are you? Did you receive an invitation to the family reunion? Yeah. Are you going to go? I don't think so. Why? Remember, our cousin Bill and I had a disagreement at the last reunion. Yes, but it was all a misunderstanding. I know, but I still feel uncomfortable about it. I would really like to see you there. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. I feel the same way. If you don't go to the reunion, maybe I can visit you. That sounds like a great idea. Have you ever been to New York? No. I would love to visit you and check out the city. Let's plan to do that. I still want you to come to the reunion. I'll think about it. Okay. I hope to see you there. Hello? Hi, Mom. This is Linda. Hi, Linda. Why are you calling so early in the morning? Is something wrong? No, not at all. Actually, I have some good news. What is it? I'm having a baby. That's great news. When did you find out? Last night. It was too late to call you. I thought you might be sleeping. You can call me any time, Linda. How does Dan feel? He's so happy. He went out this morning to buy the baby a gift. Already? That is funny. When is the baby due? In June. I am three months pregnant. How are you feeling? Do you feel sick at all? Just a little. Are you able to eat anything? Yeah, I'm actually really hungry right now. Let me come over and make you something to eat. 
Mom, let's go out for breakfast. I'll treat you. Don't be silly. I'll buy you breakfast. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Okay, Mom. See you at 8 a.m. Why do you look so happy, Carol? I was just on the phone with my daughter. She is having a baby. How exciting. This will be our first grandchild. Is the baby a boy or a girl? She doesn't know yet. She's only three months pregnant. Three months. So the baby is due in June. Yes. I'm going to be a grandmother in June. How many grandchildren do you have, Joan? I have three. Two grandsons and one granddaughter. Yes, I remember that now. They visit you often. Yes, they do. I love when they visit. I'm so excited. I'm going to go shopping to buy my grandchild some clothes. But the baby hasn't been born yet. I know, but I love looking at baby clothes. Do you want to go with me? Sure. Maybe I'll get something from my grandkids, too. Let me grab my purse. Hi, Susie. Where are you going? Are you taking a trip? Yeah, I'm going to Chicago. My sister just had a baby. I'm going to be helping her for a couple of weeks. That's so nice of you. Did she have a boy or a girl? A girl. Her name is Rose. What a beautiful name. Yeah, she is named after our grandmother. My daughter is also named after my grandmother. Her name is Marie. That's also a beautiful name. Thanks. Is this your sister's first child? Yeah. This is my first niece, too. She's also the first grandchild in the family. How special. I know. My mother is so excited. She only lives a few blocks away from my sister. So she will be helping a lot, too. That's wonderful. It's nice to have a lot of help with your first child. Yeah, I agree. Well, I better go now. I have to be at the airport by 1 p.m. Okay, see you in... Hello? Hi, Sue. This is Linda. Are you free for lunch today? No, David is sick today. He couldn't go to school. That's terrible. Is it a cold? Yeah, I think so. He has a cough and a sore throat. My son, Billy, was sick last week, too. He missed four days of school. Wow, I hope David isn't sick that long. There's a virus going around. We need to stay healthy, too. I know. I've been taking extra vitamin C to stay healthy. Good idea. I think I'll buy some today. Do you need anything at the store? Actually, I do. I couldn't go to the store because I didn't want to leave David alone. I understand. What do you need? Could you please buy me a whole chicken? I want to make David some chicken soup. That's a great idea. I'll drop it off on my way home. Thank you so much. I will pay you back when you drop off the chicken. Okay. I'm going to go to the store after lunch. I will be at your house around 2 p.m. Great. See you then. Don't forget to buy vitamin C. Hello? Hi, Sue. This is Linda. I have a question about the flu shot. What is it? Are your kids getting the flu shot this year? They already did. They did? Yeah. We went to the doctor's office last week. They both got them. What about you? I got one, too. So did Jeff. Really? Bill won't get one. Why? He says he never gets sick. Well, that could be true, but we don't want to risk it this year. I completely understand that. Both of my kids got really sick last year. I just want to give them extra protection, just in case. Yeah, I think I'm going to make an appointment for all of us. Even Bill? No, he won't go. He'll just cancel his appointment. Well, at least the three of you will be protected. That's true. Okay, I better call the doctor's office now. Mommy, I don't feel very well. What's wrong, Susie? Didn't you have a good time at the birthday party? Yeah, it was a lot of fun, but now my tummy hurts. Did you eat too much food at the party? I think so. What did you eat? Pizza, cake, ice cream, and potato chips. That is a lot of food. I also had a soda, cookies, and popcorn. 
Susie, that's why your stomach hurts. You ate too much. Why did you eat so much? I was hungry, and everything looked delicious. Susie, I think you should go lie down for a while. Okay, Mommy. Susie, where are you going? I need to go to the bathroom first. Hi, Jill. What are you doing today? Hi, Sharon. Today we're doing our annual spring cleaning. What is that? It's the day we thoroughly clean the whole house. We throw away things we don't need, pack up things to donate, clean all of the rooms, and wash all of the windows. Wow, that's a lot to do. Yeah, it takes all day. Do your kids help too? Of course. They look through their closets and toy bins to find clothes and toys to donate or throw away. That's a great idea, but why is it called spring cleaning? Because it's done in the spring season. I see. I think we're going to start doing this too. Our house is so cluttered. After we have the things ready for donation, Jim takes them to the local homeless shelter. This makes the house easier to clean. That's great. I'm going to tell my family about this. Well, I better get started. I have a lot to do. Talk to you later, Sharon. Bye, Jill. Thanks for the cleaning tip. Hi, Sally. How are you today? Hi, Karen. I have so many things to do today. What do you have to do? I have to do several loads of laundry, vacuum the whole house, and clean the kitchen. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to do. Why don't you do some of that tomorrow? My mother-in-law is coming tonight. I completely understand. She likes a very neat and tidy house. I know what you mean. My mom is very clean and organized, too. I should have started a few days ago, but I was so busy at work. Why doesn't your husband help you? He did help me. He mowed the lawn, cleaned all of the bathrooms, and set up the guest room yesterday. Wow. He did a lot, too. I also have to go grocery shopping. What a busy day. Do you need any help? No, that's okay. I'm not busy today. I can help you. Really? Could you go grocery shopping for me? I already made my shopping list. Of course. You can pay me back when I drop off the groceries. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That's what friends and neighbors are for. Hey, Ted. Do you have any boxes you're not using? I think so. I have to check my garage. Great, thanks. Are you moving? No, I need to clean out my attic today. It's getting full up there. That's a big chore. I know. I don't even remember what's in there anymore. Well, if you don't know what's in there, you probably don't need it. That's what my wife said. I had to clean out my attic last month, and my wife said the same thing to me. They must be talking to each other. What are you going to do with all that stuff? I think I'm going to have a garage sale next weekend. What did you do with all of your stuff? I threw half of it away and donated the other half. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll donate the things I don't need. What about the garage sale? That's just going to be another chore to do. I'd rather go golfing. Good thinking. Hey, Billy. Do you want to come over after school? Hey, Mark. No, I have to finish my chores. I didn't do them all week, so now I have to do them all today. What do you have to do? Rake the yard and clean my room. Is that going to take a long time? Have you seen my room? It looks like a tornado went through it. Why didn't you clean it before? I hate cleaning. Do you have chores? Yeah, but I try to finish them as soon as possible. You're smart. Now I have to spend Friday afternoon doing chores. That's too bad. I got a new video game I wanted to show you. Do you want to help me with my chores? No way. I'm going to enjoy my Friday afternoon. Well, I better get to work or I'll be doing it after dinner, too. Finish your chores earlier next time. I know. I say that every week. Mom, are there any more chores to do around the house? There are always chores to do. Why? I want to make more money. I'm saving up for something. What is it? It's a secret. Okay. There are a couple of loads of laundry that need to be done. Okay. I can do that. They need to be washed, folded, and put away. 
Got it. Let me know if you want some more to do after that. Okay, I need a lot more to do. I'm curious. What are you saving up for? Do you promise not to say anything? I promise. I want to buy Dad a new watch for his birthday. That's very sweet of you. He would love it. I only have a couple of weeks to save until his birthday. You're a good kid, Alan. Greg, I think it's time for you to start helping around the house. Okay, Dad. Your mom and I want you to start doing some chores. Will I get an allowance like Susie? Of course you will. First, let's start with cleaning up the playroom when it gets messy. Okay. What else? How about setting and clearing the dinner table? These are easy. And loading and unloading the dishwasher. Okay. Do I have to do all of these things every day? No. I want you to share these chores with your sister. You can both decide which ones you want to do. That's not fair. Why isn't this fair? She's going to pick the easiest ones for herself and give me the harder chores to do. No, she won't. You don't know Susie. I think I want a raise in my allowance. We haven't told you how much you're getting yet. If I have to share chores with my sister, I'm going to be doing most of the work. What's wrong, Phil? Hi, Mark. Our dog, Rusty, is lost. Someone left the backyard gate open, and he got out. Oh, no. Let me help you find him. Thanks. My daughter is so upset right now. Have you called the local dog shelters? Yeah. They haven't seen him. They said they would call me if they find our dog. Does he have any identification on him? Yeah. He's wearing his dog tag, and he's also microchipped. That's good. Should we make some flyers to post around the neighborhood? My wife is doing that right now. How old is Rusty? He's four years old, and he's brown with white spots. I know what he looks like. Oh, that's right. I'm not thinking straight. I'm just worried he was stolen or is injured somewhere. I understand. He's part of your family. Yeah, he's a big part of our family. We got him when he was a little puppy. Hey, Phil! There he is! Rusty, come here, boy! Dad, can we get a dog? Daniel, are we talking about this again? You promised we could get one when I got older. Having a dog is a big responsibility. I know. I promised to help take care of it. You have to walk him, feed him, bathe him, clean his messes, and play with him. I promised to do all of those things. I need to talk to your mom first. But mom doesn't want a dog. She doesn't like them. It's because she's afraid of them. Why is she afraid of dogs? She was bitten by a dog when she was a child. Oh, I see. But if we get a puppy, we can train it not to bite. That's true. Dad, did you have a dog when you were a kid? Yes, but I was old enough to help take care of him. How old were you? Ten years old. Dad, I'm eleven years old. Hi, Alice. Do you know anyone who wants a dog? What kind of dog? Yours? Yeah, we have to give our dog away. Why? You love Buster. I know, but we just discovered that our son is allergic to dogs. Really? Yeah, he sneezes and gets a rash every time he pets him. That's terrible. When Stephen was a baby, we didn't know he was allergic. But now he's crawling around and playing with Buster. His symptoms get really bad. I'm so sorry to hear that. You and Charlie have had Buster since he was a puppy. I remember when all three of you moved in next door. I know. We got Buster before our son was born. Charlie is so sad. How about your relatives? Are there any family members that could take Buster? Then you can still see him whenever you want. I asked my sister, and Charlie asked his brothers. But no one is able to take a dog right now. Well, our kids are all grown up and living on their own. Stan and I get lonely sometimes. Would you like us to adopt Buster? Really? You would do that? Stan and I really like Buster. He's house-trained and well-behaved. He rarely barks, too. 
Don't you need to talk to Stan first? Oh, he'll say yes. He's been talking about getting a dog lately. He'll be happy it's Buster. Thank you so much. You can come see him anytime. You're the best neighbor anyone could have. Hello? Hi, Cindy. This is Sally. Are you busy this Saturday? I will be working until 5 o'clock. I'm throwing a birthday party for my sister, Allison. Would you like to come? Sure. I would love to. What time is the party? It starts at 5 o'clock. Okay. I will be a little late. I'll try to be there as soon as possible. Great. Where is the party going to be? At my house. What can I bring? No need to bring anything. I'd like to get her a gift. What does she like? That isn't necessary. I really want to. Does she like music? She loves music. What kind of music does she like? Pop, jazz, hip-hop, classical. She likes pop music. Okay, I have an idea. Thanks. That's really nice of you. See you on Saturday. Hi, Anne. What are you doing? Hi, Carol. I'm planning a birthday party for Tim. How is that going? Not well. I can't think of anything to do. How many kids do you want to invite? He wants to invite all the boys in his classroom. That's 12 boys. No girls? He doesn't want to invite any girls. How about an outdoor party? We did that last year and it rained. Oh, that's not fun. I was thinking about taking the kids to a pizza place. Kids like pizza? How about taking them to a movie theater, too? That's too expensive. Yeah. How about renting a movie and watching it at home after the pizza place? I love that idea. Then they can play in our backyard if it doesn't rain. That sounds like a great party. Thanks for your help. Hello? Hi, Diane. This is Helen. Hi, Helen. What's up? I want to throw Mom a surprise birthday party. That's a wonderful idea. How can I help? Do you know who we should invite? Her friends and co-workers. Do you have their phone numbers or email addresses? No, I don't. Why don't we ask Dad? He should have them. Do you think Dad can keep a secret? Yeah, remember? He surprised her with a trip to France a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. Mom was so surprised. What kind of food should we serve? Let's serve Mom's favorite food, pasta. I can cook. Okay. I can take care of the party decorations. Perfect. Should we get together to discuss all of the plans? Sure. Do you want to meet right now? No. I have some things to do. Can I meet you at 5 p.m.? Okay. That sounds good. Why don't you come to my house? I can make us dinner. Hello? Hi, Sarah. This is Kathy. I have a huge favor to ask. What is it? Are you free tonight? I need a babysitter to watch Michael. I'm so sorry. I'm not available. We have tickets to the play tonight. We do, too. Our regular babysitter is sick, and the tickets are non-refundable. Jenny is home from college this weekend. Would you like me to ask her if she is available? That would be wonderful. I'll ask her when she gets home. She went to the store. She should be back in a few minutes. Thank you. We will pay her, of course. I know she's great with kids. I remember her playing with Michael before. He really liked her. Yeah, she loves children. She is studying to become a teacher. That's great. She will be a good teacher. If Michael has homework, she can help him with it. Great idea. But I'm not sure Michael will like this idea. That's true. He may not like Jenny after tonight. Hi, Janice. Why do you look so nervous? Oh, hi, Sandy. Bill and I are going out to dinner without the kids. That sounds fun. So why do you look nervous? We hired a babysitter. This will be our first time leaving the kids with the babysitter. Really? Who did you hire? Our friend's daughter, Natalie. She is 18 years old. Natalie? Carol's daughter? Yes. Do you know her? Yeah. She used to babysit my children a couple of years ago. Did you like her as a babysitter? Yes, she was a very responsible girl. That's great to hear. You can trust her. She babysits for a few people I know. 
Yeah, I heard she has a lot of babysitting experience. She loves children. She wants to go to medical school and become a pediatric doctor. Wow, she must be a smart girl. She is. She was a straight-A student in high school, and she's been accepted to many colleges. That's awesome. She's babysitting a lot to save money for college tuition. Now I feel a lot better about hiring her as a babysitter. Hey, Allison. Are you free for dinner tonight? Hi, Tom. No, I'm not. I'm babysitting a neighbor's kid. What time? From 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. What about next Friday? I'm babysitting again next Friday. Why are you babysitting so much? It's a good way to make money. Do you like children? Yeah, I love kids. They're fun to play with. I don't like them. They're noisy and they smell weird. You're so funny. You would make a terrible babysitter. You're right. I'd rather babysit dogs. Dogs are noisy and they smell weird too. I know, but they're cuter than kids. You're silly. Then when are you free for dinner? Tomorrow night. Okay. I'm free tomorrow, too. I'll pick you up at 6 p.m. at your house. Great. I'll see you then. Hi, Teresa. Is David home from school? Yeah, we just got back from the hospital. What happened? David fell at school and broke his arm. Are you serious? That's terrible. Yeah. The school called an ambulance and they took him to the hospital. Wow. Is he in a lot of pain? Just a little. The doctor gave him some pain medication. That's good. He's so upset, though. Because of the pain? No. His soccer team is playing the championship game this weekend, and he's the goalie. That must really hurt more than the arm. I think it does. He's been practicing so much for this game. Is he going to go to the game? Of course. He has to go and cheer his team on. Hopefully, his team will win. I hope so. They were undefeated all season. Hey, Carol. Have you seen Tom lately? Didn't you hear the news? No. What happened? He got into a car accident last week. Is he okay? No, he is in the hospital. He broke both of his legs and ribs. He also has a head injury. That's terrible. I had the flu, so I haven't seen or talked to anyone lately. How's Judy? Judy has come home a couple of times to get a change of clothes. She must be devastated. She is a very worried wife. Have you seen him? Bob and I visited him in the hospital a couple of days ago. He is on so much medication. Wow, that's serious. Yeah. Does Judy know how long he's going to be in the hospital? The doctors told her he may be there for several months. Oh, my goodness. What is she going to do? Their children are going to help her now. They're taking turns staying at the hospital. That's good. I better visit him soon. Thanks for the information. Hi, Kate. Why do you look so tired? Oh, hi, Anne. We just got back from the emergency room. Why, what happened? Jason had to get stitches. Why did he cut himself? Yeah, he was slicing some onions and the knife slipped. He got a really deep cut on his finger. That sounds painful. The painful part was waiting at the emergency room. There was only one doctor working tonight. We waited three hours. What about his finger? The nurse wrapped it with a bandage to stop the bleeding. I hate the ER. It's always crowded and takes too long. I know. But I knew he had to have stitches. It was a really bad cut, so we had to stay. How many stitches did he get? Nine. He won't be able to play video games for a few weeks. Is that a good thing? Actually, it is. But he's not happy about it.